Today we're going to be exploring the biggest Christmas market in Italy. It's in Bolzano, which is in the north of Italy, just south of Austria. And so today we're going to be checking out everything that it has to offer. This feels a bit confusing because it still feels like we're in full fall mode, but it's already Christmas time. Yeah, it's like, well, it's a little early too in the day, so the lights aren't on fully yet. But we do have these really, really beautiful golden leaves up here from the fall. And I'm guessing that within a month, by the actual Christmas time, all of that will be gone. It took about three hours to get here, so we are starving. It's about lunchtime. And let's see if we can find any local, regional dishes here. Of course, when you're Germany, so there's going to be a lot of different types of sausages. To start off, I'm keeping it pretty simple. I just got the winter burger. I think there's sauerkraut on there and a good big patty. Vernon couldn't resist. I had to get the goulash. Every time I go somewhere that they have goulash, I have to get that. It's basically a um, like a beef soup. It's uh, very, very savory. They got all kinds of potatoes and other things like that in here. Now, normally inside of uh, Czech Republic or Austria, they have a, a goulash. I guess since we're close, this is probably going to be so much of what I've had before. But I'm waiting. I'm looking to try it. Mm, super savory, super hearty. God, and they give you this giant piece of bread with it. I don't think I'm going to eat all of this because I want to try a lot more here at the market. But otherwise, this is 10 out of 10. The only downside whenever you, go, you come to places like this that are a little busy is the food is not bad, but the prices are. Like this burger, this was 6 euro. I mean, in regular place, this probably would be like 3 euro. But you know, you're paying for the atmosphere and the vibes. It's very good though. Wow. The meat is so juicy. Wow. I guess it was worth the 6 euro. First impressions of Bolzano Christmas Market. Um, Holy it's packed. Yeah, very, very busy. There's people everywhere. It's hard to move. Yeah. Um, so we're glad that you get to see this from the comfort of your phone rather than actually be squished here like the, like us do. Yeah, I mean, it is. If you're claustrophobic or don't like big crowds or tight spaces or loud places, oh my God, right now, we're just trying to kind of get situated and see what's going on around us see what to eat what to buy and if you're family or friends don't don't watch this video because we might be buying some stuff here for you <laughs> I just waited in the craziest line for 15 minutes if not more for this particular uh, melted cheese and spec sandwich so spec I guess is a thing in this region I had no idea I found that out the other day Burns got the first uh, vindale Vin Brulee, right? Yep. Vin Brulee or mulled wine. Um, just so you know, if you haven't seen Speck before, Speck is kind of like a, it's a sliced uh, lunch meat type thing. It's kind of like, uh, it's good. what should we call it? Like prosciutto almost, but like darker. It's a different part of the pig. And it's more smoky, at least from the ones I've been eating so far. Yeah. But I, let's see if this sandwich has been worth the wait. I just have a feeling this is going to be messy already, but it's okay. It smells amazing. Oh my god, I think this is the best speck I've ever had. It's very simple, it's just bread, a ton of cheese and speck, but everything is local, super fresh, and super hot. I feel like the cheese was the same cheese at one of those French markets because it definitely stank. Oh. Hopefully it tastes a lot better than it smells. Vernon just has a vendetta against cheese. The cheese is subtle. The cheese is better, it's not as stinky as you call it. <laughs> it took a big bite. The bread has a lot of herbs and I think butter inside of it. You can even see the little seeds from the, the different types of herbs inside there. The speck is really, really good. It's actually kind of crispy a little bit. I don't know if they like charred it or what, but... I think he had a torch. Oh. Yeah. I oh. think this was worth your weight. Yeah, Vernon was enjoying the market as I was like being squished by a bunch of Italians and Germans. Also, the perfect pairing. So we got hot wine, we got an amazing cheesy meaty sandwich, and the views. I mean, this town alone is just wonderful. So we've eaten, we drank. Now, I think we're gonna explore a little bit outside the Christmas market and see the decoration the town has and maybe the little shops. They do have the traditional spec here, so it is a thing. It smells amazing in here. So you can buy it in a giant piece, so this is about 10.85. Good amount of meat. Ooh, make some soup. Jesus. How much does that weigh? Do you have the size? It weighs four kilograms. The cheese is though. Oh, the cheese is the grass. That's the cheese. Look at that. 
Vern, this is what we need to have in our basement, just a meat wall. Our dog would be really happy. Actually, once we leave him home alone, he's, it's over. Oh, so that's the other thing to get at the markets, maybe not necessarily at the store, is they have like these really nice and fancy jams. Oh my God. What is that? I don't know, but it just says the best on it. These are seasonings for like shish kebabs and things like that. Ooh. Amazing, look at that. First purchase, some lard and some local spec. We just had our first in-store Nespresso experience. Huh. Yeah. That was a lot of ends. Uh, somehow we, we never been to one and we acquired the machine like what, a month ago? But she just made us like the strongest coffee ever. So I feel like very energized. Like I feel like I can do a marathon in this Christmas market. Yeah, it's really cool. So those uh, Nespresso is like a really popular brand here in Europe. I mean, you see them in the US too. The stores are really big and they have a lot of really cool different types of coffee you can try if you're into coffee. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's really nice being able to just stop in one. They just make you a coffee yeah. and then you just pick out which coffee you want and you can buy it just like that. This is how you know it's officially Christmas time or the holidays is when you have these roasted nuts. It's definitely worth it to step away from the center where the main markets are and just explore the town because it is just charming. You don't even have to go to Germany. I think the best part about stepping away from the center isn't even all the cute, charming stuff. It's just the fact that we don't have all of those people and then the one thing they don't have in America that they have here, at least I don't think I've ever seen it in America, Krampus. If you can't see it, there's a giant demon looking at you. Yeah, I guess he's like representative <laughs> of the devil or something. So I, I can't wait to like go to those events because the music, the food, everything gets so crazy, the atmosphere. So we hope to take you this year to probably the craziest one in the area. At least one of those Krampus things. So stick around because you're definitely going to want to see what those look like. They're going to be pretty insane. Hey Vern, what do you think about the architecture here? It's not very Italian. It feels like we're in Austria. I mean, we've been to Austria a couple of times and this definitely is exactly what it looks like. I know we're at a Christmas market and everyone's drinking the hot wine, but never in my life more did I want a glass of cold beer. I don't know if it's because we're close to Austria and Germany, but I'm just like, I see a few people drinking beer. Vernon doesn't look like a beer. I'm so so. But it's just like sometimes when you get the taste for it, oof, you gotta find it. We successfully found the beer. I got the small one. This is a small. Uh, it is the Frost Christmas Brew. We got beautiful views. Let's see how good the beer is. Vernon, did you try yours? It's so refreshing. I'm taking pictures of it. <laughs> The life of a content creator, right? <laughs> the lighting and the beer, though, is beautiful. Yeah, never. S the beer, the Christmas tree, the mountains, and the beautiful church. So, we literally just had the craziest incident happen. We were taking pictures of our beer and the church, and this guy came by. He tried to steal our camera from my hand, and then he spat on Vernon. But the benefit was the cops, the Italian cops, were here. So now they're over there in the corner, uh, arresting the guy, hopefully. Vern, is this part of the Christmas market or we just stumble upon like a restaurant? I think this is where the uh, the crowd hasn't figured out part of the Christmas market, but there's a lot of cute little restaurants over here. Um, I see the strudel they have. They have the strudel, they have the glue vine, which is the hot, the hot mold wine that they have here, Irish coffee, other things like that here. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. What was this called? Black Angel? It Something. Had some sort of orange or apple shot in there. It doesn't taste like any, it doesn't taste like there's any alcohol in here, which could be dangerous. Um, it's just kind of like an alternative to the mulled wines. It's like a very fruity kind of apple juice and it definitely is hot. So you got to be careful with that, but it's really, really good. Um, this is not something that they have at the little market down there. We actually had to find this at this little sky bar nearby and we got to go up on the rooftop area. It's really, really but good. But the views are beautiful. Yeah, the view is beautiful. This is probably the best view of the entire town that we've seen so far, especially when you're looking at the um, the market down below. So you can come here for drinks or you can come here and have an igloo. This one from 
for example, is with nuts. Okay, you here you want to try? Oh. <laughs> She's priorities. These are really unique. Christmas donuts. So Vernon couldn't wait, so he ate without me. It's delicious. It's hot. So it's like a donut. <laughs> and inside is just literally slices of apple and held the sugar. The one thing we're not at this market today is cold because everything besides the beer is very hot, very delicious. Everything's made fresh, so you do have to wait. And they have these heat lamps everywhere. I wonder if they actually taste good. So we managed to fill up Vernon's backpack with some goodies and some that don't fit inside, but we have one more thing left to get from this region. Well, at least one more bottle. There's a whole other section under the ground. So just as we left here, we had to get a bottle of wine from this region. And so we found this local wine store. One of the things that we learned was that this region is famous for two types of grapes, Gewürztraminer, which is a white wine. And as you can tell, the name is Germans because we're not that far away from Austria. And the other one is Lagrain, which is a red wine. It is wintertime. Normally we like to drink red wines in the wintertime. So we went with the Lagrain. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's vlog and kind of got a taste for what the Christmas market is like in Italy. Subscribe for more adventures. Ciao.